Stephanie and welcome to my channel if you're new around here and welcome back if you're not. This is the playlist where I unbox my many book subscription service boxes and today we are unboxing the December Twisted Retreat Box. So this is the book box for those who love horror or basically if you ever dressed up like anyone's from the Adams Family, this is the book box for you. But let's go ahead and see what was inside. Alright, first up. <laughs> it's a bat shaped spatula. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna hang out in my kitchen all year long. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Alright. Then we've got. All right, next up, we've got this hat, spooky themed hat. Oh yeah. Oh, I really wish I'd had this uh, back at Christmas. My husband and I played like this neon mini golf in kind of like a Harry Potter theme bar as well. This would have been like the perfect accessory to have then, but I'll be wearing it the rest of the month. All right. The candle doesn't normally come in a box this big, so I'm gonna guess maybe drinkware? Drinkware or like uh, something for the kitchen. <laughs> Called it. Ooh, got ourselves some drinkware. The Haunting of Hill House. Little ghost stories. <gasps> I'm gonna have so much fun either drinking tea or red wine out of this glass. Amazing. Absolutely. And it even has like a little cover. Love it. Super cute. All right. Looks like we've got a little snack. That's it. Apples and bananas. Little mini fruit bar. Might be throwing that in my bag for my long plane ride tomorrow, actually, as of this filming. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy out. So we've got our tarot card. Oh, is that, is this Gremlins themed? Is that what this is? Okay, hold on. And then we've also got the Twisted Times. So this tells you everything that was in the box. All right, so we got the Hill House Campfire Mug, the Dracula Spatula. Uh, haven't gotten that yet. Huh, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, this is, oh, I'm dumb. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, what's his face? Oogie Boogie. Yeah. Okay. Oogie Boogie. And then Tarot is the devil inspired by Gremlins. Okay, full disclosure, I've never actually seen the Gremlins movies. Like, I've seen clips of them back when it, like, it used to run on, like, TBS or TNT. Never actually seen the full movie. I remember it kind of terrified me. Like, I had a weird thing about clowns as a kid. And then I loved animals. I really wanted to be a vet until my mom was like, well, you know, vets have to put pets down and that killed that dream immediately. And I think, yeah, just watching Gremlins, I was like, I can't watch cute little fluffy things turn into like monsters. Don't sign me up for that. Maybe I'll make that my goal this Halloween in 2024 to actually watch that movie. All right, next up, what are you? Okay, so it's a spice rack. So we've got all these little jars. So rosemary, cinnamon, garlic. As far as they included that one, since everyone's all like spooky and vampires. We got salt. Gotta protect yourself from all the supernatural creatures out there. Ooh, okay. So Twisted Retreat Apothecary, it's pretty cool. And then it's got the little holders for all of them. Oh, they're actually, this box is full of like actually useful things this month. Really like that. Not that the other boxes aren't, but there are sometimes some things that I'm like, cute, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. <laughs> all right, next up, I'm gonna guess our candle for the month. Oh. 
I know I said I didn't watch Gremlins, but that's super cute. I really like that. Mm -hmm. After Midnight. Yeah, this is a good box this month. Good job, Twisted Retreat. All right, and then, oh, never mind. We're not yet to the book. We've got the Misty World Scarlet Mist, a Silent Hill inspired face mist with a refillable container. Huh. Ooh. That kind of fun. So yeah, just Silent Hill face mist. Enjoy this otherworldly Silent Hill inspired face mist by Pet, ooh, at Petri Chorink. So. Cute. I don't think I've ever used face mist though, besides like on my wedding day to like hold my makeup in place. All right, and then lastly, we have got to the book. So Through a Glass Darkly. Oh, is this gonna be like a twisted telling of uh, Alice in Wonderland? Okay. Steeped in classic horror, this chilling contemporary tale deals with secrets long buried, festering guilt, and haunting loneliness. Jack Trent, the most effective criminal investigation officer in the history of the department, is having bad dreams of a child's murder in a forest at the hands of something indescribable. But these are more than just nightmares. They are visions of the future that Jack has tried for years to suppress. Something happened to Jack in his childhood. Something that means he cannot touch another living person. And something that killed his mother. And this something has returned to inspire his visions. In a final race against time, Jack attempts to save a boy's life in the clearing of Redgrave Forest. Can he face the long dead Dr. Mendicant and the ancient darkness of Crow Haven? Can he face the evil living inside himself? And what will he make of the doctor's final devastating revelation? So through, ooh. Okay, so we have got like the sprayed pages and then the foil cover. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the guy. Well, that sounds interesting. My January to be read pile is already a little high, so I don't think this is going to make it for that. But maybe this will be a really good February or early March read. So through a glass darkly by WH QC Hussey. I apologize. I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. But that was everything that was included in the December 2023 Twisted Retreat book box. Looking forward to getting the first one of 2024. Very excited about that. Again, very sad that their sister company Unplugged is no longer doing the monthly shipments but are going to specialty boxes. But I did find a new book subscription service to check out. I am going to be checking out the Lit Love box the Indulge Monthly. So in this one, you do get to pick the book and then it's paired with a bunch of goodies. I'll definitely be doing an unboxing video when I get my first shipment from that just to check it out. I am giving it three months just to see how I feel about it, but I'm very excited that I did find something to replace my unplugged book subscription box. Not that I need to replace them seeing as my to be read pile has like, I think overtaken how many books I've actually read on my library, but very excited to give it a try. If you have any recommendations for any other book subscription services that you absolutely love and that I should check out, please leave your recommendations in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching this unboxing video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!